President Haka Genkob said on a recent trip around the city that he was disappointed to see the Namibians are still not adhering to the lockdown measures as many continue to roam the streets unaware of the threat. Namibia's COVID-19 figures stand at 13 as of Wednesday the 1st of April 2020. Genkob said if more tests could be done, the nation would see a staggering surge in confirmed cases. I move around in Karatura. I saw people just still gathering. I was making a joke to say social distance. People are even walking together, they sit and talk. So let's educate one another, all of us, and definitely obey the instructions. And both the police, law, law, law enforcement agencies are appealed to, as I said, not just to always show the gun, we don't need the AK. But if we can also cooperate, if you are saying move, go back, let us obey. It's an emergency. Some of your basic human rights are being kind of suspended for this period. So let's all cooperate. It's a serious matter. It's not to score points here. It's a serious matter. So we must all hold hands and try to save our lives. Maybe our numbers are still low because we're not doing proper testing, maybe. But otherwise, we don't all go and take tests, just take the test. It costs money. So only when it is necessary, when you are exposed to danger, so to say. Health Minister Kalumbi Shangula noted that they will enhance testing in the coming days with focus on those with respiratory illnesses. Three patients, all foreign nationals, have fully recovered from the disease and are set to return to their countries. As part of the ongoing activities, the ministry will, in the coming weeks, enhance testing for COVID-19, especially for persons with respiratory ailments. In addition, we will undertake active case de detection by expanding the scope of work of community health workers. We do this in order to determine the extent of community transmission in Namibia. Our focus will be on the three regions with confirmed COVID-19 cases, namely Karas, Comas, and Erongo regions. Nearly a million people around the world have contracted the disease while the death toll stands at over 40,000. Kenkov urged the nation to comply and to stay at home to curb the spread of COVID-19.